topic, which is very different from the last one. Okay, a man wrote to the Washington Post's advice columnist saying he met a wonderful lady he's been dating for a year, but he doesn't enjoy the sex, and he wants to know if he should break up with her. So, what do you think? What advice would you give? Here? I'm really curious to eat your take. It here. Uh, yeah, I have. So, before I get into the advice piece, I will say that a couple of weeks ago we talked a little bit uh, on the show about a couple who one of them wasn't really having orgasms, and I said on the show at that time, like, not for not everyone is orgasm the goal. For some people, sex has different reasons. It's about connectivity, mm -hmm. and I can't tell you how many people reached out to me after that, saying they felt seen, that they oh. were going through, you know, depression or cancer treatments or whatever, and that 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 goal-oriented sex had shifted, and so. Going back to this guy, I'm just curious. I have more questions before I give advice. I want to know, is this a new thing with this partner? Mm -hmm. Has this been a consistent thing with partners? I know some people who, once they get past that initial hot and heavy stage of the relationship, once they get into that real hardcore intimacy, that it tends to ruin their sex drive. That they tend to think of mm. their partner as a uh, roommate or a sibling less than an object of sex. And I think there's opportunities for investigation there. And the thing is that I find funny about sex is we work out because we want to improve our body and our fitness and our longevity. We, if we have a goal, like we want to write a book, we would start jotting notes. But when it comes to sex, very few of us sit around and go like, how can I get to the core of what my desires are, what my framework, what my kinks are, and actually share them with somebody else? We don't do this. Why don't we? Mm. And let's start. Yeah, with let's. That. This is true. I mean, in this case, I find it super refreshing that a guy is saying out loud, I don't really enjoy sex. Like, when do we ever hear that? <laughs> Usually it's like the woman going, oh my God, he wants it all the time. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Off of me. So I do find it refreshing and maybe it's yeah. more common than we know because there's this uh, machoism that men are always like, I'm ready to go at all times. And I think we have to understand, I mean, it's probably not wrong, but, <laughs> I, but I think as women, we understand that our libido, it's either sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Ask any new mom. If my husband looked at me within the first five years of Marquez, it's like, I'm like, don't even, I could see it. Don't even look you at me. I yeah. am not about interested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and then now, I mean, he's trying to beat me off of him most days. <laughs> my point is, my parents are freaking out right now. Uh, my point is, libidos go up and down and left and right. And I think as long as we're talking about it, then hopefully it's not as big I of an issue. I think the dream is, is to have uh, a partner with matched libido. Like yeah. either you're both low, which is fine, or you're both high. Mm -hmm. I think problems do arise or mm -hmm. arouse. <laughs> arouse. When, when, arouse, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, when one, when they're mismatched. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I, I find it hard to talk about sex on television because I think my dad still thinks I'm a virgin. <laughs> oh. uh, but you have children, you Farah. You have children. Life, but yes. um, I will say this. I looked into sex habits and how they change over age because I think that's the interesting part. And there's a study, and it says Americans, it's an American study, it says that in their 20s they have sex about 80 times per year. So that's once every four to five days, but that number drops to 20 times per year for people in their 60s. So I think it's a natural, and, and it's at women less than men. So I think there is that ebb and flow and that natural mm. progression. Yeah. But what you said about the, the match, I think is so key. Yeah. yeah. So key. And I think Cynthia would agree, lube is lovely. Um, <laughs> Or a little blue pill if you need it. Sure, sure, exactly. Aren't you glad you tuned oh, in today? What, what uh, <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, time for a break. I don't know what's happening there, but we're gonna find out. That's what a, that was, a little blue pill. A little blue pill. Oh, oh my gosh! You don't know? I still don't. You don't know what a little blue pill is? Oh, yeah, I guess we have a blue red. Oh! Okay. I'm dating someone much younger than I am, so <laughs> I have that to look forward to. <laughs> hey, you, come a bit closer. We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.